if you're feeling stuck on posting to LinkedIn because it seems like a professional platform, and uh, of course, we all want to come across well to our professional colleagues, and it's public, and um, and and like you, you haven't posted regularly or, or at all on LinkedIn, how do we get over that perfectionism? So uh, what I'm going to say, uh, I'll, I'll say two, two quick things. One is, is a technical thing, and then one is more philosophical thing. So the technical thing that might be comforting to you is that the algorithm is on your side. What I mean, <laughs> what I mean is this, when you post something on LinkedIn, if your connections find it interesting, helpful, delightful, good, basically, they will react to it or they will comment on it. And if they don't find it particularly interesting, delightful, or good, they won't. They'll just, they'll just scroll past it. And the nice thing you might say about the algorithm is that if your connections, the first couple of people that they show it to don't react, the, the algorithm buries the posts meaning your, the rest of your connections basically won't see it. Uh, sure, people could manually go to your profile, scroll down, click on activity, see all, you know, but most people don't do that. So the practicality of it is that I, I <laughs> embarrass myself all the time on social media <laughs> over the years. I've gotten quite used to it. And, uh, and I, but, but I, know, I know this. I, I'm okay with it now, knowing the algorithm, because I know that if something is truly embarrassing, uh, cringeworthy, or just not good, just not that quality, then guess what? The first few people who see it are going to just scroll past it. Maybe they'll cringe a little bit. They'll scroll past it, and then the algorithm won't show it to anybody else. <laughs> Thank goodness. So that's the technical comfort that you could... So in other words, quantity really does lead to quality, especially when it comes to social media algorithms. So it's almost like it really is the case where you just have to throw a bunch of spaghetti against the wall and see which, which ones stick, the algorithms will kind will be kind to you and not show the things that don't stick. And the ones that do stick, the ones that where your connections, your, your followers are like, wow, that was interesting. Or I want to celebrate that with you. Or um, that was funny or whatever. They will react, they will comment, and then it'll get shown to a lot more people. And the fact that it's getting shown to more people means that the algorithm, which is really based on testing human reactions, have proven that it's worth showing to more people. You see what I mean? So think about quantity that leads to quality. And the more philosophical point of view on uh, perfectionism is, and I want to thank Constance for bringing this idea forward, reminding me of, of this, is the small picture perfectionist versus the big picture perfectionist. A lot of us here uh, watching this are recovering perfectionists or we're uh, we're we're barely recovering perfectionists, and um, I call that small picture perfectionism. Meaning, I have to get this next post just right, or you know, um, or something bad happens, or whatever. That small picture perfection, like this this small thing has to be just right. That small thing. Whereas, we can still be perfectionists. Let's just step back and be a big picture perfectionist. Meaning, in the journey of my career on posting on social media and LinkedIn, it's the journey is perfect. And the journey of learning and trying and trial and error and occasionally embarrassing ourselves or posting cringeworthy things. Um, and by the way, you can always delete things later, right? That's, that's always an option. If you post something and it gets no engagement and later you find that to be cringeworthy, you can always delete it, right? So that's, that's good. Um, but the big picture of perfectionism, the biggest picture in my, in my opinion is somehow in some magical way, you might say, we're all, each of us being taken care of and supported and invisibly guided on our journey towards our calling, uh, fulfilling our, our career purpose. And so all we're asked to do is to just show up and to try to keep the small perfect picture perfectionist at bay and just keep showing up, keep posting, keep testing, because otherwise, how will we find our career purpose unless we keep testing, right? Our, our experiments versus what the market responds to or our, what, what really, um, where our uh, deep, where our talents and our strengths meets the world's deep hunger, our experiments and the market's reactions, same idea. 
we have to keep testing a lot of things before we find that sweet spot. And the more we test, the more we understand what that sweet spot is, and the more our intuition is honed for what to post in the going forward. So we have to we have to hone our intuition by testing and noticing and trying and noticing what gets reaction, what get what what doesn't, and that becomes makes us a better and better communicator over time. So I hope this helps, and thank you so much for asking.